Now before I entertain you with five tips on how to become a successful student, I feel like I need to prove myself to be able to actually give out tips and knowledge on how to become a successful student. So to prove myself, I'm going to do an incredibly difficult math sum in my head. Here it goes. Okay, 1456 times 2367 equals 3,446,352. Boom! Point proven? I think so. Let's move on. Okay, so tip number one, manage your time well. Try to give yourself enough time to complete all your work and to do it to a good standard. Writing I don't know for every question in physics isn't acceptable. Also remember to give yourself time to chillax. Yep, that was a mixture of the words chill and relax, go with it. So remember to spend time working on your hobbies and doing things that you find interesting. Unless it's illegal, then just don't do that. Touching yourself is fine. Tip number two, your teachers are there to help you. In most cases, they actually give a shit about you and your achievements. So use them, ask questions, ask questions in class. Don't be afraid about what the other people in your class think about you because you'll be the one who's successful and they may be your employee one day and you may be their boss. So look out for that and yes, use your teachers. Also, if your teachers are up for it, consider meeting them after the class and in other times during the day. When it's just one-on-one -on -one with your teacher, you can get a lot of work done and you can hopefully understand more. Plus, if you get closer to your teacher, they might be a bit more lenient when it comes to marking your test. By the way, it helps giving your teachers a nickname, the classic being you just take the first letter of their last name and just use that. So, you know, when you hand in your test, you're like, what up, Mr. D? And, you know, that's all you need. It's cool, it's calm, it's easy, it's considerate, right there. And if you're really brave, you can give them a nickname that's relevant to the subject that they teach you. For example, when your geography teacher walks into the room, you can go, hey, there's the man who's as strong as Igneous Rock, it's Mr. Smith. Just whatever you do, don't hit on your teachers. Apparently hitting on your chemistry teacher is worthy grounds for a detention. Tip number three, not everything your teachers tell you are the correct things to do. This is quite controversial, but if interpreted correctly, it does make a lot of sense. I would like to say that this tip doesn't mean that I'm suggesting you go up to your teachers and tell them to shove their homework where the sun doesn't shine. I'm not saying that. What I'm suggesting to you is that out of everybody in the world, you're the one who knows how most effectively you learn. So use that knowledge to your advantage and figure out which way of learning is the most effective for you. The different ways of learning that I'm suggesting is things like using colours in your work, making notes or making mind maps. So then apply that to your work as much as often and then Bob's your uncle, learning Spanish vocab doesn't seem that strenuous. Although I actually never learned Spanish so... Tip number four, get some sleep, bro. That final match in Battlefield can wait till tomorrow. You can pause your Game of Thrones marathon. You can stop your hair and makeup session or whatever you girls do. The point I'm trying to make is that you need sleep. I need sleep. Everybody needs sleep. Even the little cute rabbit animals. Rabbit animals? Rabbits are animals. Even the cute rabbits, they sleep. The bears, they sleep. The birds, they sleep. Everything sleeps, including humans, and it's helpful a lot. You can't expect to do well in school if you're falling asleep at your desk. It just doesn't happen. Now, I'm not suggesting you go to bed at nine o'clock sharp because you're not sick, so that's not gonna happen. Unless you are, then hey, thanks for watching. But yeah, don't worry about nine o'clock because just no one's gonna be, especially at my age, you're not gonna be in bed at nine o'clock sharp. You're not just gonna go to sleep, it's not gonna happen. What I'm suggesting is, is that you're in bed and asleep before the day ends. Midnight is the latest you want to be watching YouTube video after YouTube video. There is actually one exception to this, and that's if you're watching my video. So if you are, just ignore everything I just said about sleep. In fact, 83% of people agree that watching definitely own videos is more beneficial than sleep itself. True story. And last but not least, tip number five. Use your friends and classmates. Bouncing ideas off each other and helping one another to understand things is a great way to learn. Plus, everything is better with friends. Except touching yourself. That's, yeah. That's a solo activity, really. Anyway, if you can occasionally get a group of friends together to make a study session or a revision group, then that'd be really beneficial. Plus, if there's that special someone you want to get closer to, you can invite them to your study group and then chat them up with academic pickup lines. For example, hey, we got great chemistry. Should we go do some biology? My love for you is like pie, never ending. Hey girl, let's turn up the heat on this cold war. Hey, 
You're like the green light at the end of Daisy's dock. Hey girl, you're hotter than a Bunsen burner set on full power. Our love is like dividing zero. You can't define it. Are you a South American region experiencing the El Nino climate phenomenon? Or are you always this hot? Hey baby, your chromosomes have combined beautifully. Hey girl, do you love water? That means you love 80% of me. Girl, you're like an exothermic reaction because you're making me hot. Well, there you go. Five tips to becoming a successful student and a bunch of pickup lines that I highly recommend that you don't use. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's a like button if you did like it. And if you want to share it with a friend that's struggling to become a successful student, I'm sure they'll appreciate it along with me. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Owen, and I'll see you in the next video. And I wish you good luck on your education. Goodbye. Hey, do you love water? That means you love 80% of me. Let's fix that 20%. <laughs> Hey, your breasts remind me of Mount Rushmore. My face should be among them. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's messed up.